Do you want to find out if there's a better alternative to Postman out there? Then make sure you do not miss this video because we'll be looking at three alternatives to Postman. Hi, this is Valentine and welcome to another video on Postman, the RESTful API testing tool. If you're new to this channel and want to learn more about Postman, testing or continuous integration, make sure you subscribe to this channel for more videos on these topics. And now let's get started with the video. In this video I wanted to go over three alternatives to Postman and these are Paw, Restlet and Insomnia. I will try to compare these tools relative to Postman as it is probably the most popular REST API client. So let's start with Insomnia. Insomnia is a beautifully designed tool put on top that is free and open source and you'll have yourself a good option. Of course there are paid plans as well but this is a good thing and it makes sure that the project is sustainable. With Insomnia we can import your Postman collections or a curl command but it seems that there's no support for RAML or Swagger files. On the other hand Insomnia does a decent job importing Postman collections although I must say I have managed only to import collections exported with version 2.0 and not 2.1. What I definitely did not like about this tool is the usage tracking being enabled by default and there's no mentioning that when starting the application for the first time you have to manually go to settings and disable that. Now when it comes to testing unfortunately there's no possibility of running a collection of requests or to write any tests. I haven't found any plugins for Insomnia but it seems that plugins are supported as an experimental feature. So this is a positive thing that they're moving in that direction. The project seems pretty active considering that is a one-man show, but it's clear that this tool does not have the exposure that Postman has. So congratulations Greg on this tool and if you're looking for a tool that does one thing well, namely manual API testing, then definitely give this tool a chance. You can find out more and download Insomnia at insomnia.rest. Moving on to the RESTlet client, one of the products created by RESTlet is available as a Google Chrome extension. The interface, while intuitive, it seems a bit cluttered with things you do not need at once. You can easily import a Postman collection in version 2, but it seems that the import has no support for curl, but it does support which is even more powerful. While being really request, I'm really missing some autocomplete functionality when using environment variables. Even after entering an environment variable, you cannot be sure if it properly resolves as there's no visual indicator showing the value that will be sent. The cool thing about RESTlet is that you can easily add some tests by using the assertions tab below the request, but if the response body is a bit more complex, you really have to master the XPath syntax but this really depends on a case-to-case -case basis. I think this way of writing tests is really interesting because it lowers the entry barrier, but on the other hand, it would be really great to have a way to click the response body and automatically have a assertion generated for you or something like that. While the rest of the client does promise to integrate with Jenkins and any other continuous integration systems, it seems that the functionality is only in the paid version and I haven't tried it out. If you want to test a specific workflow for your application, you can do that by switching to the Scenarios tab. Unfortunately, with the free account, you can only add one scenario. With that being said, I think RESTlet has potential, but at the same time, given all the limitations in the free version, it is hard to imagine that this tool will enjoy a dramatic growth in the next period. Anyway, if you want to find out more about this tool, just visit RESTlet.com. Moving on to Paw. For starters, this tool only works on macOS and costs almost 40 British pounds, offering only a trial version, no free version whatsoever. The advantage of that being a really beautifully designed app, intuitive and 100% optimized for Macs. It has a significant and dedicated user base and it almost matches Postman in features. Another great plus goes for having what appears to be a mature ecosystem with extensions, making it really, well, extensible. There is no native way of writing tests or assertions, but this is possible by installing an extension. I haven't found any details about integrating with a continuous integration or a continuous delivery server, 
but this seems to be kind of out of scope for this tool anyway. Apart from this, the only disadvantages I could found are the one already mentioned in the beginning. It only works on macOS and it costs you money. While I have no problem paying for software, I really think Palm makes its adoption a bit harder than necessary by ignoring Windows and Linux users. It is hard for me to imagine a software development team where everybody is only using macOS. Anyway, try it out if you can by visiting paw.cloud. At the end I would like to add two notable mentions. One of them is the advanced REST client, which in spite of its name, it really has only basic features for uh, creating, for dealing with requests. It's an open source piece of software, it has absolutely no documentation, maybe the only plus point being that it can work with web sockets. It's created by MuleSoft, the company behind Mule ESB, and if you want to find out more and download this, you have to go to install.advancedredsclient.com. And the last one is SOAP UI. Uh, probably if you work with SOAP requests in the past, you know this tool. Well, SOAP UI also can deal with RESTful requests. If you already have SOAP UI, you can give it a try, but otherwise I wouldn't really recommend this tool. You will find links to all these tools in the video description, so make sure you check them out. Now let me know, have you worked with these tools presented so far? Is there anything you would like to add or do you know any other REST API clients or are you interested in any of the alternatives I have presented? Just make sure you leave a comment below, let me know what you think and I will look into creating more videos on them. Thank you for watching and see you next time.